Hello there and welcome to another exciting edition of your number one motivational and life transforming program Rising Prime on your independent television station AIT Today's edition promises to be great because we shall be discussing the utilization of internet in Nigeria majorly by Nigerian youth and I have in the studio here with me two gentlemen to help me tackle this discussion but before I introduce you to my guest as usual Let's go on this short break. We shall be right back. I am rising prime. No matter what may come my way, I will not give up on life. I will not anymore. give up. I will not give up. I am rising prime. Welcome back. If you're just tuning into your favorite independent television station, you're watching Rising Prime on AIT. Before we went off break the other time, I was about to introduce you to my guest. They are IT professionals. They will discuss on the utilization of internet in Nigeria, majorly by the Nigerian youths. Let me start by introducing to my guest is Mr. Enoch Olujide Aregbe. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, sir. And accompanying him in the studio is Mr. Joseph Adeolu. Thank you very much. You're both welcome you. to Rise in Pride. So, we shall be discussing about the utilization of internet in Nigeria. Statistics let us know that about 300 billion people all over the world uses internet. And about 67 million Nigerians uses internet every day. We would like to know. Let me start. Maybe I should start by asking you, Mr. Enoch. Are we really utilizing the internet in Nigeria? Uh, that's a very good question and uh, the truth of the matter is uh, Nigerians up till now are not making maximum use of the internet. Of course some organizations are trying to achieve that. Uh, years back one of the companies that published one of the world software softwares uh, came up with the statistics that revealed that most users of that software were using only 25% of the facilities available in that software. Okay. And they were trying to encourage people to use more of the facilities. Uh, the same thing is, uh, is, 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 is applied to the internet in Nigeria. People use uh, internet, uh, what's an internet? Internet is a global computer network, a network that links computer networks all over the world by satellite and telephone. Okay. Connecting users with service networks such as emails and the World Wide Web. I know the, what we do in Nigeria most of the time is to send mails, you know, you see our people browsing, you know, using Facebook social networks and all that. But we thank God for banks who use it for banking. You can transfer, you know, funds from the net. We thank God for those who use it for marketing. You can buy whatever you want to buy from any part of the world by browsing the net and getting to know the website where they are. And you make, you know, your request. And then we also thank God for those who use it for research, for research work, you know, in the educational institutions and uh, for other uses. Uh, but even then, uh, we are still, we are, we are still not be able to achieve the maximum usage of the internet, the internet. because the, the internet is very vast and uh, it, it promises greater things than what we are presently enjoying. You just made mention that some people use it for research. Yeah. But majorly, if you see Nigerian youths, they use it for either Facebook, they use it for WhatsApp, they use it for Twitter, they don't make research, they just feel, okay, let me just chat with the internet. Mr. Joe, what, what would you say about this, that majorly youths use internet to chat? Um, I would say that um, we have come from the understanding that libraries are used for research and um, we've... Um, in our institutions, we've not been taught that the internet is a library of information. Mm -hmm. That's where you can harness information, as much information as you need. So, um, until that mindset, that orientation comes, and even the libraries are fitted with good internet service to make people access more information than, than the ones you have. The hardware and the hard um, copies of. Um, books and you have there are ebooks on the internet all sorts of resources available on the internet even other people's 
um, catalog of research on certain um, fields and the internet is a place where you can easily public your um, publicize your 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 research and get other people to be aware of what you're doing so that's right um, until we put the two the, the internet and the library as one the nigerian youths don't really have the orientation okay you just made mention that the internet is a place where you can publicize what you're doing and get other people to know what you're actually doing so let, let's let's come down to uh, a Nigerian youth that is, let's say, is earning the minimum salary of 18,000 Naira and he also wants to publicize what he's doing. Probably he's learning a trade or he's into a vocational work. But that 18, uh, I don't know if you can tell me the cheapest iPad you can get or a laptop or for you to go to, not, not everybody have time to go to cafe make research again but I, I know you are you both will agree with me that if you have your own personal iPad if you have your own personal laptop you can stay wherever you are and make your research and get it on the internet so what would you have to say about this courageous youth that is planning to publicize his work or what he does on the internet but does not have that money to afford an iPad or a laptop. What do you have to say about that, sir? Uh, the truth of the matter is, uh, our youth in Nigeria have access to funds, so good funds to some extent. Uh, one of the problems we have is that uh, they don't know how to manage money. Many of them waste their funds on, you know, on going to places like, uh, you know, the eateries we have around, the pleasure centers, <laughs> to enjoy themselves. But when they begin to realize that life is more than pleasure, they begin to focus their funds on things that matter. For example. I don't see why our youth should not you know, embrace entrepreneurship. That is starting your own business. Even if you are in school, you can do that. And by, for example, if you start, you know, have something on a computer, you have something you want to sell, you can get somebody to design a website for you, very cheap, for like 10, 12,000, a very cheap website. And once you go on the net, the, your, the, the, what you are selling is available to the whole world. Because if somebody goggles whatever you are selling, your site will be one of the sites that will come. So once you go on the net with this, little amount you are able to make yourself known to the world and then you can get a good ipad for like 30 35 thousand I, I i was speaking with an elderly person and he said he was just mentioning the good old days the good old days and the good old days he said uh, modernization has brought in a lot of problem for our nigerian youths now the internet you agree with me can be used for a positive use That's and true. also for a negative use That's right. If, if you look at the Nigerian youths today, 90% of them use internet on the negative side. That's right. Yes, 90%, 90% of them. So, and, and some of them even uses it for pholography, some of them uses it for Yahoo, they, they do Yahoo and the rest. What do you have to say about this? Uh, maybe I should ask you, Mr. Joe. Um, I would say, um Coming from um, the angle where the old person is condemning the, this generation and technology, I would feel that uh, in their time they had World War One, World War Two, <laughs> so <laughs> negative things were always happening in every generation. That's um, right. Yes. We don't have World War, so I mean, nobody. There are wars, but we don't have a global oh, yes. World War. So. <laughs> Um, nobody can actually pinpoint and say this generation is worse than the other. Every situation is a bit different. Uh, as for the World Wide Web, um, uh, you can't. They made guns and some people used it to kill. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. And some people used it to protect. Some people used it to start a war. Mm -hmm. So, uh, regardless of what you have used your own uh, thing for, some people, they made cameras, somebody used it to shoot pornography. So you can't see yeah, the, the, the internet <laughs> is open <laughs> and, and there is no um, government policy that controls the use of the internet. Okay. There is no government policy that controls it. So, so are, are, are we now saying that governments should bring up a policy? No. Okay. Uh, there are some governments like in China, they have a way of uh, controlling what um, access people have to certain information That's in true. their country. But the World Wide Web is not supposed to be restricted. It's so everybody has freedom of expression. I don't think it's something you should stop people 
you only have to orient them on okay you can use it for something positive but whatever someone uses his camera for or his computer for it's his own personal thing and i don't think um, it's something that anybody should want to infringe into privacy and um, some people tax people for the air they breathe that's bad because it was given freely mm -hmm. but in some countries they tax so you, you know you don't want to bring that to nigeria okay viewers <laughs> It has been a wonderful time discussing with Mr. Enoch Olujide Arebe and Mr. Joseph Adeolu, both IT professionals. If you're just tuning into your favorite independent television, you're watching Rising Prime. We shall be right back after this short break. I am Rising Prime. No matter what may come my way. I will not give up on life I will not anymore. give up. I will not give up. I am Rising Prime. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching Rising Prime on your independent television station, AIT. And our topic for today's edition is the utilization of internet in Nigeria. Gentlemen, you're welcome back from the break. Thank you. Thank you very much. Information, they said, is power. And rightly as if I heard Mr. Joe rightly, he, he, he said some people are not oriented on what to use internet for. So maybe I should ask you, what are the benefits people can get from the internet? Oh, so many benefits. Uh, and like you rightly said, I want to start by saying that internet is like money. You know, if uh, a wicked man gets access to money, to a big amount of money. The money becomes wicked or is used for wicked purposes in his hands. When a good man has access to a big amount of money, the money is used for good purposes. So when, when we're talking about internet, the internet is there for everybody. You can now decide what you want to do with it. You can use your internet to send emails. You can send, you send an email there within one minute, the email is, is in the box already in the US, you can open and reply you immediately. And then you can use your internet to browse, you know, get information about your trade. For example, my wife is a caterer. At times people come to her with, you know, new designs of cakes that she's not familiar with. She goes to the net, goggles it, and here is the design. Somebody designing, maybe somebody designing in China or in the US, and it's made available on the web. She looks at the procedure and then she produces the same in Nigeria. Many things. You are starting a business, and you want to give it a global presence. One of the things internet has been able to do is to make the whole world come together. You know, as if it's a village. <laughs> you know? So, if you're starting something and you want the world to know about it, you may not even have a physical shop here in Nigeria, but you can put that on the, on the web and it's available to everybody. It's available to billions of people all over the world. You want to know anything about medical science, you can go, you get information. Like I said, you were making research, for example, when I was doing my master's degree, I used internet majorly for my info to get my you know research materials. I am, I'm doing my PhD now and the internet is helping me a lot again, even my PhD. So I want to encourage our youths to try and learn more. We'll not be able to discuss details here. You can do so many other things on the net. You can even cancel people on the net. For example, in uh, in the church I attend, our general has put together his experience, you know, over about 40 years in ministry into in, into a database and that database connected with the software can counsel people the way we counsel okay you know so what you use the very good so now the, the, the software was on a local system before but as the patronage increased we put it on the web and today this program goes on in the us in the uk in highland in yeah, nigeria yeah, they, because people have access to it everybody we just fill the form and we compare to attend the lectures okay and there, 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 there is this school they call the open university where wherever you are you can receive lectures over the yeah. internet is is this school advisable I, because majorly where these schools triumph are basically abroad where they have free access to internet anywhere you go you can get internet on your phone on your ipad on your laptop in your offices internet are connected so far you pay your tax but in nigeria here where it is internet is found in some specific places that's right. And you find out that so many students no longer want to go to universities. Yeah, they say, okay, there's an open university. I'll just stay in my room and I'll be receiving lectures. Is, 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 this, is this school advisable to, to be done in Nigeria, Mr. Joe? 
Um, I, I, I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with it if the proper infrastructures are put in place to make sure um, students get the best mode of learning. Uh, I think it's a good avenue for people who can't afford to be in school and also earn a living. So a lot of people who need to go to work um, still need to go to school. So it's, it's a good idea. I'm, I'm not sure about how it runs. I'm not sure about the platforms they, they put in place to make sure that students have easy access to the internet. If the school has a way of providing internet service. Majorly the, the school does not provide. Okay. It if says, the school does not provide, then they, um, I think anybody who wants to go for that school should know that I'm not going to be paying for accommodation hostel accommodation yes, sir, I'm not going to be doing all that so can I channel every fund I can get into making internet available for myself to use so it, it's cheaper for you if you want to look at you're going to be staying or, uh, at or campus or off campus you're going to be doing this you're going to be buying these books yes. now yes. all, you, is, all yes. of that is just channeled into making internet available and laying everything on your computer mm. yes, very okay good. okay so now this program is a motivational and life transforming program. Okay. There are some youth out there listening to us and they want to be an IT professional like you. What would your advice be for them? Uh, that's a good thing to do uh, because uh, almost every aspect of, uh, you know, of business in the world today uh, is connected to the internet and the, the computer. For example, if you are a medical practitioner, you make use of computer. You know, if you are a lawyer, the internet is available for you, your computer will help you. If you sell, there are softwares or point of sales that help you sell, make recording and monitor and even catch tips in your business. Now, for those who want to become IT professionals, I will encourage you. Uh, but the thing is, you must be ready to work hard. Because one of the problems I had when I was in school was that uh, uh, many of our lecturers could not, you know, uh, actually, you know, teach us. Uh, the way they were supposed to teach us, especially in the area of computer programming. So to learn computer programming, I had to sit down for computer with computer for hours, buy books, read on my own, before I could develop the you know that uh, strength of writing computer software. So if you want to go into IT, there are different openings. You can decide to be an engineer, you can decide to be a computer engineer, I mean, a programmer. You can decide to be a data entry clerk. <laughs> you can decide to be a system analyst. You know you can several openings there you can be decided to be a website designer the application developer and all that but if you are going into it i will encourage you to have a good background in, I mean, in mathematics and uh, prepare yourself uh, in the area of logic building because these are important in computer science. Oh, oh, okay okay so sorry can i ask you a question yeah uh, were, were you sponsored to school i mean were your parents able to afford your school fees and your school charges uh Anyway, let me say partially. When I entered into school, my father was okay and he was taking care of the bills. But after two, three years, he had problems with his finances. Okay. And they called me and said, we no longer have any money to take care of your education. Okay. So what helped me was that, as at that time, I had mastered the programming aspect of computer. So I started writing programs for people. Okay. And as I was getting money from there, I was using it to take care of my education. Okay. So, Mr. Joe, let me ask you this question. Uh, for, for, for the Nigerian youths are less privileged that are aspiring to be an IT professional like you, but they don't have sponsors at all. Like the orphans that are watching us presently, those that are on the street watching us, and those that are less privileged. What would your advice be for them? And they want to become an IT professional just like you. And I understand that IT is not a cheap course to study. That's right. Yes. So what would your advice be for them on a final note? Um, I would just like to say that you can get access to anything you want to get access to if you are willing to. That's right. Um, I feel that um, there are a lot of people, um, especially because we work in that field, so we can tell you that somebody can come and tell you and say, please, can I work for you? Just teach me. Let me work for you for free. Just teach me. How That's to okay. Learning it vocationally. Uh, yes, and say, oh, I'll work for you for free um, over a period of time. Please just teach me how to use this. Or oh, teach me how to do a web design. I'll work for you. Don't pay me salary. Just teach me. 
That's, I mean, that, that, I've used that method to learn so many things I couldn't pay for. I learned video editing, I learned this, just by going to meet somebody, I'll work for you, just don't pay me, teach me, and I'll be working for you, do other things. That's right. And I, it, was, it was based on an agreement, oh, for a six month period, you work for me, I'll pay you. So, there are different ways, this is just an example, okay. there are different ways of being able to grab information that can help you through school. T design a website for your department in school, do this and make money from it and that's, that was exactly what I want. Okay, so <laughs> on the final note, what would the advice be for them? I also want to advise that it is very possible to combine a work with education. Okay. For example, a school like NIT offers computer, you know, programming courses and other related courses. So as a youth, you can pick up a job, you know, the pay may be low, but just pick up a job. As you start working, start saving towards it. And when you get enough money, register in the school, go to work in the morning, in the evening, go for lectures and take uh, courses in computer programming. In six months time, one year time, you are out. And, uh, you know, from there, you move to the next level. Viewers, it's been a wonderful time chatting with these two gentlemen in the studio with me. If you are just tuning into your television station, I think you missed this episode. Uh, but we made a provision for you you didn't miss out totally you can log on your facebook and like our page from there you get the link to watch it on youtube my guest has been mr enoch olujide Arebe. thank you for appearing on our program sir. thank you very much sir and the other person is mr joseph adiolu thank you for appearing on thank the program, you very sir. much thank you. this is where we draw the curtain for today's edition for sponsorship and adverts, you can contact the numbers on your screen. We say bye for now. I am rising prime, no matter what may come my way, I will not give up on life. Anymore, I am rising prime from every ugly situation. I will not give up on life anymore. Say, I am rising prime, no matter what may come my way. I will not give up on life anymore. Even if I fall, I will rise again. Even if I fail, I will start all over All things are possible